Good evening, teacher. Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Welcome, everybody. I hope you are doing great. Hi, Jose Fernando, your camera. Okay, welcome. I hope you are doing great. How was your day, people? ¿Qué tal les fue hoy? How was your day today? Me good, teacher. It was good, right? Your day was good. Was it difficult, tiring? How was it? Uh -huh. Was it tiring? Estuvo cansado? Yes, no. No for me. Not for you. Okay, <laughs> so we are going to wait for the rest of your friends to come. They are connecting now and we are going to work. Today we are going to work a little bit on the compound nouns and we are going to work as well on vocabulary and we're going to work a little bit on grammar, okay? So today we have many, many things to do. Remember that we have class tomorrow. We have normal class tomorrow. It's the last Friday, okay? Mañana es nuestro último viernes de clases normales y el otro viernes ya les queda su semana normal de lunes a jueves, okay? So mañana we have classes. Remember, we need to come, okay? We need to be in class tomorrow. And for sure, people, if you haven't sent the um, el comprobante del manual, remember to send it. I think you, you did it already. Yo creo que ustedes ya lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Okay, so no problem. I am going to ask you later for the class. So uh, let's go without any further audio, right? We're going to work a little bit on compound nouns. These compound nouns, for example, are the ones that are made up with two different words. For example, for example, you have here <clears throat> subway entrance. You can have traffic light, bus stop, bicycle line. And these uh, compound nouns are the ones that you join for you to make a new word. In this case, I am going to show you a couple of them here. So we have here subway, entrance. When you have the subway entrance, you make a new word, right? You make a new word with a different meaning, that it's la entrada del subway. Subway is one thing, entrance is another one, but when you combine them, you have a new word. Traffic light. What is a traffic light? Here you have it on the example, right? A traffic light, that it's un Semáforo, traffic light, it's a compound word. Bus stop, what is a bus stop? Is the place where you wait for? For the bus, for the bus right? Is the place where you wait for the bus. And when you combine these two words, you have a new one, right? The bus stop. The bicycle lane, it's a space just for the bicycles. Right? It is a special space just for the bicycle. When you have a stop sign, a stop sign is the one that says that you cannot continue. The stop sign, for example, in this one, you can see it right here. It's the red light. It's a stop sign. The parking, what? You can have the parking space, right? A parking space is the place that you have for you to park your car. The street, what? The street, what can you have? You can have a street 
light. Like a street light, it's a semaphore as well, right? You can have also a, a taxi a station. A taxi station. That it's all the ones that you have and all the, the taxis are there. You can also have the train station and the bus station. You can have it there. And let me see. You can have a traffic jam. What is a traffic jam? Es un, how do you call that? embotellamiento when you have all the cars together right it's a traffic jam and we have also the news stand because here i need to erase a little bit here so you say the news stand what about this one what is the news stand the news stand is where you can buy the newspaper el kiosco de periódicos that is a news stand, okay? That is a news stand. Donde puedes ir a comprar el diario, las revistas, right? That is a news stand. Un puesto de periódicos, okay? So those are compound nouns, the ones that you can use in a different in a different way when you use them together. Other examples from these ones, you can say a police station. The police station, it's another compound noun, right? The telephone, the telephone booth, right? The telephone booth, what is it? The telephone booth is la cabina telefónica, right? You can also have the fire station or the fire department, right? You can have the fire department. So those are also compound nouns and the train station. When you combine them, you make a new word, okay? Now, after I have explained this, I am going to move to this conversation that we have here. And let me just erase my pictures. And here you have the first compound noun, right? The bus stop. Listen after me, okay? You are going to, okay, repeat, please. Why is there never a bus when you want one? Why is there never why? a bus when I when you want one? Why is there why never, is a, bus there never a bus when you a want bus one? When you want one? A, bus. a bus. A bus. Why is there a never bus. a bus when you want one? Why is there never a bus when you want one? Good question. Good question. Good question. Good question. Good question. There aren't enough buses on this road. There aren't enough buses on this road. There aren't enough buses on this route. There aren't enough buses on this road. Sometimes I feel like writing a letter to the paper. Sometimes, Sometimes I feel like writing a letter to the paper. Good idea. Good, Good, idea. Idea. Good idea. You should say that we need more subway lines too. You should say that we need more subway lines too. Yeah, there should be more public transportation in general. Yeah. Yeah. And fewer cars. And fewer cars. There's too much traffic. There's too much traffic. Say, is that our bus coming? Say, is that our bus coming? Oh, uh, yes, it is. But look, yeah. it's yeah. full. Oh no, let's go and get a cup of coffee. Oh, oh no, no. no. Let's let's go and get a cup of coffee. coffee. We can talk about this letter I am going to write. We, we can talk about, about this letter I am going to write. write. Okay, taking advantage, right? Jose, here. In this case, you say, 
we should say that we need more subway lines, right? We need more subway lines. They should be more public transportation. There is too much traffic, okay? Mm -hmm. And I have another one. Ah, fewer cars. We need fewer cars. There aren't enough buses, okay? In this case, this kind of a specific words give you a specific meanings, the ones that we are going to study right here. They are adverse of quantity. In the adverse of quantity, you say like there aren't enough buses, no hay suficientes, right? You don't have a specific quantity, but you know that they are just a few, right? There aren't enough buses. We need more subway lines. We need more public transportation. There is too much traffic. ¿Cuánto sería too much? En cantidad, ¿cuánto sería? Muchos. Mucho, right? Too much. Demasiado. There is too much traffic. Hay demasiado tráfico. Fewer cars. What is the meaning of fewer? Men fewer. Menos. Menos, right? We need fewer cars because there is too much traffic. And we need more public transportation in general. So those are adverbs of quantity. And in, as you can see here on this little chart, we have with the countable nouns, con los nombres que podemos contar, que podemos hacer plural, in this case, cars. You say, there are too many cars. And there is too much traffic. In the case of traffic, traffic is uncountable because you cannot say un tráfico, dos tráficos, tres tráficos. You cannot count it, right? And you cannot say traffics with S. No lo podemos hacer plural tampoco. But cars, you can say one car, two cars, three cars, four cars. And there are many cars in general. You can make it plural. That is the difference between countable and uncountable. There aren't enough buses. We need more subway lines. There should be fewer cars. So too many, enough, more, and fewer, you can use it with countable nouns. With uncountable nouns, you use too much, enough, more, and less. There should be less pollution. There should be less traffic, right? There is too much traffic. There isn't Teacher, enough. I have parking. a question. Yes. Uh, I want to know if uh, if uh, when we use uncountable nouns, uh, we always uh, we always uh, to use there is. Yes. Because we cannot uh, make them plural. Los incontables casi siempre se usan con is porque no los podemos hacer plural. So we use with is. Mm -hmm. With yes. other with other sentences, for example, you can say um, there isn't enough okay, sugar. You can say there isn't enough sugar for for lunch. Okay, and sugar is also uncountable. And you can say, for example, or there is too much salt. We don't need to buy any more. If you open the counter, right? Si abren como la, la cena y dice, oh, no, no, no. There is too much salt here. We don't need to buy anything. But in this case, yeah, but, yes? But when I say uh, the, there are three pounds of sugar? In that case, yes, because we can count the pounds, but we cannot count the sugar itself. Solo el azúcar no la podemos contar, pero si ya la contamos en bolsas, en libras, por docena, so that's different. Gracias. You can say, I have three, three bags, I have three pounds, mm -hmm. right? Because in that mm -hmm. case, that is the one that we can make plural. In that case, it's possible. But if you are talking only about the uncountable thing, it's is, okay? I have here a couple of sentences. No, thank you. Good question, Jesus. Very good question. I have here a couple of sentences for us to practice. 
And it says, um, okay. I have here, police officers. Is this singular, plural, countable, uncountable? Countable. It's plural. Countable. Plural. It's plural, right? In plural. this case, you can say, we can use uh, uh, the sentences here with the adverbs of quantity. There are too many, many okay? There are too many. too many police officers. It's like, I know, there are too many police officers, right? It's like, no, ya no mas. There are too many police officers. There should be cars in the city. Less. Less. Less or fewer. Fewer. Because you use it with a plural Less form. Car. Fewer. Okay, fewer, fewer. cars fewer. in the city. Fewer is for countable ones and less is for uncountable ones. There should be fewer cars in the city. Public transportation. There is so much. <laughs> there is so much. Okay, there is too much. There is too much public transportation. I think there is not enough. Okay, there is too much, you can say. Okay, tenemos demasiado. There is too much public transportation. The government needs to build highways. More highways. More, right? More. The government needs to build more highways because we don't have many, right? There should be noise. Less noise. Less, right? There should be less noise because noise is uncountable. No podemos contar el ruido, right? There mm -hmm. should be less noise. We should have public parking garage. More. More, right? There should have, we should have more public parking garage. Now that we cannot park anyway, you can use it, right? Ahora que ya no nos podemos parquear en cualquier lado, <laughs> there should be more public parking garages. There is air pollution in the city. Less. Less. Much. <laughs> too much, I think. Too much. There no. is too much. Hay demasiado. Ya no, no creo que tengamos less. There is too much air pollution in the city. And the last one, there are cars parked on too the street. Many. Too, too many. many, right? There are too many cars parked on the street, right? There are too many cars parked on the streets. What is something in your neighborhood that you have too much or too many? For example, here near my house, there are too many car garages near my house. Car garage is a taller, right? There are too many car garages near my house. What is something that you have near your house? Too much or too many? Too many. Uh -huh. too, too many what? Many. Near my house, I have too much birds in the morning. Okay, birds is plural. So in that case, you use not much. Much is for uncountables. So you say many. too many, right? There are too many birds near my house. And what is the problem? People who give food to the animals, right? Ahí no falta quien sale a darle de comer en la mañana. And all the animals are there. So there are too many birds near my house. Okay, I am going to write your sentences better. Okay, give me one second. Voy a poner la pizarra y voy a escribir todas sus oraciones. And I have the first one here. So you can give me more examples. Okay, I have the first one. There are too many birds near my house. Another example that you have. There are too many stores. There are too many stores. Yes, near my house. Too many stores near my house. Okay, what else? There are a lot of cows. 
a cow. Close to my house. Okay. Okay. Cows, the animal. Yeah, animal. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> bueno. Vaquita, vaquita. <laughs> you can enter one to your house. <laughs> there are too many cows near my house. Okay. There are too many cows near my house. There are too many sellers. Okay. There are too the many sellers on the street. On the street. Okay, very good. There are too many sellers on the street. Very good job. Do you have problems with traffic near to your house? Uh, in the morning. Okay, you can in say the there is too much traffic near my house. Okay, that's another example. There is too much noise. Okay, very good. There is too much. House. Very good job. There is too much noise near my house. It, the same thing happens here, right? I have a restaurant and I have a church. You can imagine the fight, right? De repente, yeah. el restaurante con la ranchera in the church with the singing. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one to dance. Another one. There is. No, so. Uh huh. There is. No. No. Uh, there there are, should be fewer. There are fewer trees. Okay, so let let me just find first Cesar Guadalupe and then Jesus. Go, Cesar. Give me your idea. There are fewer trees near my house. Okay, there are fewer trees. There are fewer trees now, right? There are fewer trees now. That's very sad because, yes, that's pretty sad. What about Jesus? What was your sentence? Uh, there should be fewer police in the city. There should be fewer, fewer police. police officers. Uh -huh, in officer. the city. Okay, there should be fewer police officers in the city. Yeah, very good. If you there, leave, uh -huh. there should be more public illumination in my neighborhood. Okay, very good sentence. There should be more uh, street lights near, oh, in my neighborhood neighborhood there should be more street lights in my neighborhood you see you can create Teacher. sentences and the problems yes jenny there isn't enough uh, cell phone signal in my neighborhood very good there isn't enough signal there isn't enough signal in my city okay or in my neighborhood there isn't enough signal in my city. Good sentences, people. You see, you gave me excellent examples using the adverbs of quantity. The idea is to start with one. Ya ven, una vez que vieron la estructura de una o de otra, ustedes dijeron, ah, I can create more. And then you came up with more examples. That was very good. Very good job, my dear class. Excellent. We did a very, very great job. Let me see here, let's continue. Okay, so you have the examples. And I have here the beginning of sentences. Teacher, teacher. Yes, 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 yes. Podría, podría ser tan amable de subir un poquito de la parte del libro. This eh, one. Le quiero tomar una captura. Ah, this más one. Más arribita, más arribita, más, 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 más. This one? Sí, allí, eso, sí, permítame un segundo. There you go. Y vamos ahorita. Gracias, teacher. There you go. Very good. Posen porque después en las capturas salen con los ojos cerrados. <laughs> <laughs> On the capture. Okay. So there you go. The quantities. Now, here you have the starting point of the sentence. And I need you to work on this together. And in this one, we have six sentences. 
the city needs to provide more. We have too many. There is too much. There should be fewer. We don't have enough. And there should be less. These six sentences are the ones that you are going to work together. I am going to have you working in groups. And with your group, you are going to create the examples. Okay, You are going to create the examples from these six sentences. Okay, So I am going to send it to your group right now. I am going to send it to your group in. Let me send it here. Se lo voy a enviar ahorita. And with your group, you are going to invent the second part of the sentence. Okay? You are going to create the rest of it. The city needs to provide more buses for uh, people to transport. I don't know, to commute. I mean, the city needs to provide more uh, open spaces for families, right? The city needs to provide more uh, shopping, malls. shopping malls. The city needs to provide more taxis for free for people, for adults. Sidewalks. More sidewalks, right? The city needs to provide more uh, safe spaces for, uh, I don't know, adults. No, you can more traffic lights. More traffic lights and better traffic lights, right? So we are going to work together and along with your group, you are going to create your answers, okay? Six different answers. And let me just make the groups. I am going to have you working. The sentences are on the chat, okay? Ya se las envié al chat. So you can have them there. What you are going to do is to write the rest of it, okay? I have here the groups ready. So finish the sentences with your group. Go ahead. Accept my invitation and you can go with your group. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, let me know if you cannot enter, thank you. I can help you. Joanna, did you receive your invitation? Cesar, did you receive the invitation? And Samuel. Yeah. Samuel, did you receive the invitation? Yes, teacher, pero me, me le di unirme y me sacó de nuevo. Okay, let me send you to another room. There you go. And Cesar? Thank you very much. Hello, buenas noches. Oh, hello, César, ¿recibiste la invitación para el grupo? No. Samuel is back. Uh -huh. Sí, pero tengo problemas con mi señal. Ok, veamos si te puede conectar. Sí, pero tengo problemas con mi señal. Ok, probemos. Tal vez te puede enviar a la, a la sala. Voy a probar con esta. Okay. Vamos a ver si te sale. Okay. Try it. And Joanna. Okay, Joanna. There you go. No te salió, César. Hola, Joanna. Te acabo de enviar al salón. Ok. Ok, ok. Me avisa, César, si le funciona. Mm -hmm. 
In my city needs to provide more, uh, how do you say sembrar? Mm, yes. Se me ha olvidado. What, what do you want to say? Grow? Plant? Um, Grow tree? Okay, so the city needs to provide more trees. More, oh. more trees. More yes. trees. To buy more trees. Or more green spaces. Ah. Mm -hmm. More green spaces. In the second, we have too many. And Karen. We have too many cuttings. <laughs> uy, uy, uy. Okay. We have too many what in El Salvador? We have too many cars here. Mm, it's too, too much. Too many people. Uh, we have too many dogs in the world. Okay. Uh, we have too many dogs. There is too much sugar in the coffee. Okay, there is too much sugar. There is too much sugar in my coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, we in El Salvador we have too many uh, dogs. Uh, how do you say abandonados or callejeros? On the street, we have too many the street. street dogs. A street street dog. dogs. Yes, we, we have, have too many street, street dogs. A street, like street from the street. A street dogs. And teacher, I have a question. Yep. Um, enough is for countable and in countable too. Okay, in this case, when you have, for example, enough, yes, it is for countable and uncountable, but the difference is that, for example, with countable, you say there are. There mm -hmm. are enough or there aren't enough. And for the uncountables, you say there isn't enough or there, um, or there is enough, okay? There isn't enough. Mm -hmm. No hay suficientes. There isn't enough. Thank you. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, I am going to check on the other groups to see what they are doing. I will come back. Ya vuelvo. There, there should be less, there should be less um, contamination, pollution, noise. Pollution. Pollution. Pollution, pollution noise, pollution and noise. Number six. Pollution. Pollution. Okay, good. Haber... Yes. There, there should be less pollution. Debería de haber menos contaminación. Menos contaminación. Good. Continue. And... Ser service the water. Water service. Mm -hmm. Water service, correct? Water service. Uh -huh, we don't have enough. What are the oh yeah, here in El Salvador, yes, for sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The, but you have to pay the bill, but you don't have the service. Yeah. <laughs> That's so terrible. In the morning, uh, aguacalas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <Aguala>. and, <laughs> and you have to be in the middle of the night getting the water because if not, you don't get it. Yeah. A la una de la mañana, así como, ya vino el agua. <laughs> you, have to run, you have to run and and fill up the all the barrels and, uh, and all the things that you have for the water. Yeah, <laughs> so it, it, it is terrible indeed. Okay, yeah. good. Continue yes. working. I'm going to check on the next room. Okay, Continue. the sex. The... There's room. Hi. Hi. Did you finish? Hi. Did... Um... We are on the floor. <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. We are about to, about to finish. Okay, what sentences do you have? I think all of us have different sentences. Okay, you have different sentences, good. 
That's good. Yeah. Which ones do you have? Okay, good, good, good. Can I listen my, to a couple of them? In my case, in the number one, uh, I have the city needs to provide more, more sidewalks. More sidewalks. Very good sentence. The city needs to provide more more sidewalks. Who has a different one? Uh, with me. Uh, uh -huh. The city needs to give more in, in work. More work. Good. Okay. Another one. And my, I, the city needs to provide more, more uh, public space. More public spaces. Good. More public spaces for you to enjoy. Very good. What else? Another example. Um, the city needs to provide more touristic places. The city needs to provide more touristic places. Very good. Excellent. Any other example? Just that. Just those. Just those, right? Very good. But they were very good sentences, my dear students. Okay, let's go back to the main session. I'm just going to check on the last group and we will go. Did you finish? Hi, teacher. Hello. Yeah, we are ready. Okay, let's go back then. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Let me just Thank you. move this one. Okay, let's go back. Hello, Samuelito. We are back. Hello. Me sacó de la plataforma. Oh, my God. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the wind. Yo creo que es por tanto viento que hay. Que está como, es, está como loco. La compañía de internet de igual no me ha resuelto muy bien el problema. Yes. Which one is? Tigo. <laughs> so poor, poor Samuel. He was having all the problems with everybody. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are going to check on the sentences. Here, okay. it, here is a, a big issue in El Salvador, right? That the weather changes, the internet is horrible. It's, it's really crazy. Okay, thank you very much. We are all coming back. Thank you, and yes, I have many of you here. Okay, good. Before it gets late, I am going to call the attendance now, okay? Para no tenerlo ya, ya cuando se me quieren ir a dormir. I'm going to call the attendance now, and I am going to check on your answers, okay? Let me see. I have this one. Okay, very good. And here we go. Alejandra Beatriz. Okay. Angelica. Cecilia de Los Angeles. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Cesar Guadalupe. It's right here, I saw him. Uh, Edgar Abel. Edgar. I'm here, teacher. <laughs> okay, sure. I, I was waiting for your, for your sure. answer. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I got you there. Okay. Ya lo, ya lo puse. Edson Stanley. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Jose. Eduardo Jose. <laughs> Elvira. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ever Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Isabel. Present, teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Jeremías. <laughs> Jeremías. <laughs> okay. He's playing with the dog. I know, I know. <laughs> Nunca me he sentido tan querida. <laughs> Joana Yesenia. Okay, Joana. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Me siento amada, pero I cannot have you. Jose Daniel. 
eh, José Fernando. Present. Let's see here. Let's continue. Eh, ok, José Daniel en José Fernando. En Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Katherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl de Jesús, he raised his hand. Reina en Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Nancy Astrid. I am here, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, so I just need to check. Jose Daniel? Yes, right. Jose Daniel? Mr. Jose Daniel? No, right. Jose Fernando? Yes. Yes. Right. Okay, good. Okay, that was my mistake. And for the rest, Eduardo Jose? No, right. Jeremias? Either. Jose Daniel, Miguel Angel, and that's it. Okay, good. If I missed someone, always let me know, okay? Si de repente eh, me salto ahí su nombre o lo menciono mal, let me know, yes? De, mi, no sé si es Miguel, el que escribió en el chat, que dice MK, y David que no iban a poder. Oh, okay, okay. It's because in many of the cases, for example, the permissions, I cannot take them by myself, okay? Siempre, y eso es, es importante que lo recuerden, siempre que necesiten un permiso o que les surja alguna situación así como fuera de su control, lo primero que tienen que hacer es reportarlo con el encargado de inglés corporativo para que él les pueda brindar una solución. Porque yo les puedo decir, sí, vea, pobrecito, dele, no tenga pena. But I cannot give you permission for the class. That's important, but it's good that you report. That's important that you report. Okay, thank you very much for that. I will check the chat in a moment. Okay, sure. let's, let's go back to the sentences. Okay, we have the sentences right here and you tell me your answers. I need a volunteer to tell me the city needs to provide more. Me teacher. Uh -huh. The city. Oh, the microphone. Se te apagó el micrófono. I'm sorry. Uh, the city needs to provide more parking in the city. More parking. Very good. We have too many. What? We have too many dogs. Okay. We have too many. And then we have Ever and then Alejandra. And then Jenny. Go ahead. Ever. We have too many. We have too many barking dogs in the night in my neighborhood. We have too many barking dogs. Jenny, we have too many? We have too many traffic lights in San Salvador. We have too many traffic lights in San Salvador, yes. You move one street and then another one and then another one and there's always a traffic light in red. That's the, the worst. There is too much. There is too much what, people? There is too much poverty, poverty teacher, poverty, right? There is too much poverty in our country. Yes, there should be fewer. There should be fewer. There should be fewer dogs in the street. There should be fewer dogs in the street, right? On the streets. There should be fewer dogs on the streets. We don't have enough. It's cool schools we don't have enough good public schools there should be less there should be less what pollution there should be less pollution there should be less cars there should be less noise there should be less violence programs on tv there should be less violent programs on tv definitely and also for the kids because there are too many like programs that are not good for kids and they are 
on TV on normal hours, right? Good answers, people. Very good job. Very good job on your answers. I am very glad with the answers that you have. Let's see. I have here four sentences and you tell me yes or no. And it says, motorists are never allowed to drive into the business district. I will change this one. Motor bikers, right? Motorcycle bikers or, or drivers should never be allowed to drive in the middle of the street. Yes or no? Yes. So they, so. they shouldn't be allowed to drive in the middle of the street. People so. need a special certificate to be able to buy a car. Do you well, think? Well, so. Do you well, think that people that people should need a special permission to buy a car? No, they only well, need uh, well. like money. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, 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 but. It will be good. Do you think that it will be good? Creen ustedes que sería bueno? That you need to have a special permission to have a car? It's true. It yeah. will be good, definitely. Yeah. But here in El Salvador, you only need money. <laughs> cars cost, Media. yeah, cars cost much more than they do in the United States in Canada. Here in El Salvador, <laughs> cars are more expensive than in the United States. That's true. Yeah. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> And they say, el aire helando al cien, tres mil dólares. Yeah, and it's a very, very old car, right? And they are more expensive than in the United States. Public transportation still needs to be improved. Yes, that's true. true. It's true. true, right? It still needs to be improved. Necesita ser Mejorada. Yes, it needs to be improved. Okay, from one to 10 in El Salvador, we don't have a train system. So that is a zero for us. Facilities for pedestrians. ¿Qué tan fácil es andar caminando en El Salvador? Facilities for pedestrians, from one to five. Five is the top. How much do you, do you give? Uh, actually, uh, uh, mm, two. Two, <laughs> right? Good. Good. Uh, it, it, it's, it actually it's changed. The, the, for example, Centro Historico. Oh, uh, yeah. It's good. It's good for you to go and walk there. Yes. That's good. The taxi service in El Salvador? Five. <laughs> Five. That is... Terrible. Terrible. Four needs improvement. Three, okay. Two is good and one is terrific. The bus system. Four needs, needs, improvement. <laughs> needs improvement, right? Yes. What about the parking spaces? Five. Terrible. Five. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. You Terrible. never you never find a place to park, right? It is really, really horrible, right? Here in El Salvador, it's really horrible. Okay. And other ways of transportation that do that you have in other countries. For example, we have the cable car. The cable car is similar to a train, but we don't have this ones in El Salvador, but it goes in the middle of the street, right? Este va a, media, a la mitad de la calle and it has cables for it to move around the city the tuk-tuk the tuk-tuks are very popular in our country do you know what's the name of this one in good Salvadorian the tuk-tuk taxis motor taxis have you ever have you ever used them have you ever yes. used the tuk-tuks Yes. 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 They are very exciting, right? Yeah. <laughs> the gondolas mm -hmm. in Venice, right? The gondola. We don't have these ones here, not even in Cuatepeque Lake. But uh, in Venice, there is a mean of transportation. You can say like, ¿A dónde, muchacho? <laughs> And then you go in the gondola for you to transport. The magnetic, the magnetic levitation train. 
these ones are very common in Germany, in Taiwan, in Tokyo, in all these places, right? We don't have Thank here. You. I think in China, right? They are very popular. And also the ferry. Do we have a ferry here in El Salvador, people? Yeah, in Suchitoto. In Suchitoto, yeah. we have one, right? We have a ferry. Also in Cuatepeque Lake, there is a ferry. Mm, yeah. And also in, there is another river that has one, but I don't remember which one. But we have a ferry here in El Salvador. It is not the main transportation system, but we have them. Okay. Which one do you think will be good for our country? ¿Cuál creen que nos arreglaría el problema de transporte? Magnet. Magnetic. The magnetic levitation <laughs> train. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> On top of everybody, <laughs> right? That's what we need, definitely. Because here, the problem of San Salvador, for example, is the traffic. The problem of Los Chorros, the traffic. Soyapan, yes. the traffic. So mm -hmm. the magnetic levitation train will be the solution. I have here one of the last conversations we are going to practice today, and I need two volunteers to read it. Me teacher. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, good. We're going to start with Joanna and Edgar, and then you two are going to choose the next ones. Go ahead. Excuse me, could you tell me where the bank is? There's are upstairs across from the jewelry free shop. Oh, thanks. Do you know what time it opens? It should be open now. It, it opens at 8 a.m. Good. And can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? You, you need to check at the transportation counter. It's right down the, the hall. Okay. And just one more thing. Do you know where the nearest restroom is? Uh, right behind you, ma'am. See that sign. Oh, thanks a lot. Very good, very good. A clap for your friends. Very good job. What, what? Edgar, you were going to ask me a question? Me ibas a preguntar algo? No, I just... I just said you're welcome to the. Oh, ferry. thank you very much for <laughs> she the. Said, she said, thank you. Okay, okay. very good. So, uh, Alejandra, Beatriz, you are going to go next with. Me with okay, Alejandra and Nidia, and then Edson and let me see. Edson and Jesus. Okay, right now, Alejandra and Nidia, go ahead. But first, I just want to know what's the meaning of transportation counter. Transportation counter, right? You need to check at the transportation counter, uh, the place where you can go and ask, right? Uh, in this case, we call them, I, how, how do you call that in Spanish? Uh, my goodness, I forgot the word in Spanish. La caseta? La caseta del bus, where you can buy the tickets. Yes, that's the transportation counter. Okay, good. Okay. The next one. Go ahead. Um, excuse me, could you tell me where the bank is? There, there's there's one upstairs across from the Dari Free Shop. Oh, thanks. Do you know what time it opens? It shall be open now. It opens at 8 a.m. Good. And can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? You need to check at the transportation counter. It's right down the hall. hall. Okay. And just one more thing. Do you know where the nearest restaurant is? Right behind, behind uh, I'm sorry. Right behind you, um, ma'am, 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 she does sing. Oh, thanks a lot. 
Very good. Yeah. Very good mm -hmm. job. I am going to clarify a couple of things on pronunciation. Great job, my dear students. A clap for all of you. Very good. It says, excuse me, could you tell me where the bank is? There is one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Oh, thanks. Do you know what time it opens? It should be open now. It opens at 8 a.m. Good. And can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? You need to check at the transportation counter. It's right down the hall. Okay, and just one more thing. Do you know where the nearest restroom is? Right behind you, ma'am. See that sign? Oh, thanks a lot. Okay, right behind you is like, justo atrás de usted. Jenny, did you have a question before? No, the question was uh, about the pronunciation of whole, but you already... <laughs> Say it. I, I said it already. The whole, right? So we go. Jenny and who was the next one? Me. Okay, go ahead. Edson. <laughs> Excuse me, could you tell me uh, where, where the bank is? There's one upstairs across from the duty free shop. Oh, thanks. Do you know what time it's open? It shall be open now. It opens at 8 a.m. Good. And can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? You need to check at the transportation counter. It's right now. It's right down the hall. Okay. And just uh, one more thing. Do you know where the nearest restroom is? Right behind you, ma'am. See that see the vaccine. Oh, thanks a lot. Okay, see that sign? See that sign. sign. Okay, ma'am. What sign. is ma'am? Ma'am is the uh, like the short part of madame. Madame oh, from okay. French, right? Right behind you, ma'am. Ma right? Right behind you, madame. Okay, right see that sign? You, see uh, that sign. See that sign? Okay, good. I have to point out something. Danny, excellent intonation of the questions. Because as you are using indirect questions, you say, could you tell me where the bank is? Good intonation, right? Because you leave the door open for the answer. Do you know what time it opens? Very good. How, can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city, right? Do you know where the nearest restroom is? And the intonation was excellent. Congratulations, a clap for everybody. Very good job. Aplauso para sus amigos, hombre. Son de gratis. Come on. De la aplauso vive el artista. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Excellent. Everybody, go after me. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the bank is? Excuse me. Excuse me. Could, Excuse you, me. Tell Could me you tell me where, where, the, me bank where the bank is? Okay, yes. pero todos con la duda. ¿Dónde está el banco? Could you tell me where the bank is? Could you tell me where the bank is? There is one upstairs across from the duty free shop. There is one upstairs from the duty free shop. Duty free shop. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. thanks. Do you know what time it opens? Do you, Do you know, know what time, time it opens? opens? It should be open now. It opens at 8 a.m. It should, it should be, be open now. now. Good. And can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? You need to check at the transportation counter. You need to check at the transportation counter. It's right down the hall. It's right down the hall. Okay. And just one more thing. Okay. Okay. okay, just, just one, one more thing. 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 One more thing. Okay. One more thing. thing. Do you know where the nearest restroom is? Do you, Do you know, know where, where the nearest restroom, 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 restroom is? Right behind you, ma'am. Right behind you, you ma'am. Ma See that sign? See, See that sign? sign? Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, you're welcome. Sure. Have a beautiful night. Yes. What <laughs> mean dirty free shop? Okay, la tienda libre de impuestos. That is a very no. We have yes. we have duty free shops. 
in at the airport. At mm. the airport, there, that's a very common thing. Uh, I discovered that at the airport, where you can go and buy without taxes. Que cobras, eh, compras sin impuestos. There is a very mm. common thing at the airport. Mm. We have them here. Well, here, maybe just there. That's the only one that I know. Well, my dear students, thank you very much for this practice that we had today. See you tomorrow, same time. Remember, we have classes tomorrow. Don't forget it. Have a wonderful night. Please eh, enviemos el comprobante si no lo hemos enviado todavía. ¿Ya lo enviaron todos? Sí, yo se lo envié vía WhatsApp. Okay. I sent. Está bien. I send it, yes. Okay, Jesús, ¿ya le contestaron de recibido? No. Eh, no. Ok, lo vamos a reenviar. No, lo voy a buscar y lo voy a reenviar. Ok, I will look eh, for it. Sí. Teacher, sobre yep. lo que mencionó de cuando tuviéramos alguna dificultad al saltar, eh, es la con la señorita Paula Iglesias que tenemos. Yes, que Paola o or, or Victoria, any of the two. Ah, ok. okay. But Muchas if it, there's a big, big difficulty. Ok, my dear class, I'm going to see you tomorrow, same time. Have a wonderful night. Sleep well and Talk see to you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. you. Bye bye. Send the comprobante, please. We need it. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.